Hey y'all, good morning. I'm gonna put in my headset real quickly so we can get started. I am so tired this morning. I just don't know what it is with this exhaustion, but it's here and I'm getting through it. Um, and let's pull some messages for today. Um, I'm gonna deal with Angel Answers and Denise Lynn. okay. <laughs> the cards just literally split. I didn't even have to shuffle. I'll take the two that I see, which is transformation and stillness. Stand still. Okay. Purity. Ooh, did you hear that? I love this velvet ultra cloth. It keeps everything intact. So, this is a pretty powerful reading, actually, if you think about it, because we are being given a confirmation that a transformation is at play here. Probably a lot of the heaviness that I'm feeling from the collective, but also... You know when you wake up in the morning and you have slept as long as you can, but you feel so heavy with sleep in your body and your eyes? So that's how I knew that I was transmuting something quite heavy. Seems like it's happening for the collective. That we are at a place where we might feel like nothing is happening and nothing is moving. But this stillness is required in order for us to maintain a very beautiful, pure energy as we move forward in our journey. It's almost like there's a recalibration happening here in your own personal energy. And notice that the, the mountain wolf's eyes are blue and green. This is giving me a throat chakra cleansing and a heart chakra awakening. So there is, your heart space is purifying. And your ability to communicate what you feel is purifying too. You may not have been successful at communicating your feelings and your thoughts in the past. Both of these are purifying. But the thing is, there's this talk. And then at the same time, I get another confirmation of blue here, which is a throat chakra. And then yellow, which is a sacral. So there's this idea that what you feel and what you communicate or what you feel that you need to communicate right now is so deeply connected to your solar plexus, who you are, your identity as an individual. You may have suffered with not feeling good about yourself. With You may have not been able to give yourself love and understanding in different ways throughout your life, you know? Um, you may be hiding something about yourself is what I'm hearing. Or you may feel like there are parts of you that are unacceptable to others and you've had to really struggle through that throughout your life. So I'm seeing that you are at a point of a transformation where you are blossoming and you are coming into yourself. And there's a lot of power coming to you, a lot of understanding, a lot of downloads, and a lot of movement. But right now, in this process of purification, you are resting. Or you're being asked to rest. So if something's not really happening right now, don't force it. You know, if your social calendar is kind of clear, keep it clear. Don't force yourself to get out more than you're ready to. The idea is, is that you embrace this pause, okay? Also understand that Aries season is the beginning of a new cycle, but that just doesn't mean cycles end in a snap and new ones just begin right away. There usually is a period that you have to go through where you incubate, um, a gestation period, if you will, where things take shape so the new cycle can begin with this new shape-shifting experience, okay? It's like having a child. Like a woman will carry a child for nine months. There's that incubation period. But then the minute she gives birth, she's not having a kid again unless, you know, right away. She allows her body to rest. That's the kind of message I'm getting here, okay?
not the right time. So you're being asked to stand still. Confirmation of that. That doesn't mean what you want isn't going to happen. It's just saying, don't force it through. A year from now, reconsider. Okay. Reconsider is clarified by the Page of Wands. Not the right time is clarified by the King of Pentacles. And a year from now is clarified by the Eight of Swords. Okay, so bottom of the deck is death. So that's a confirmation of transformation here twice. Okay, so what I'm understanding here, uh, you are meant to allow things to play out the way they are playing out right now. You might be fearful. I'm hearing that some of you are fearful that things aren't going to work the way you want them to. But what if they're meant to be better? Oh, that way clear. Okay. Come on, Jenny. What if they're meant to be better than what you had envisioned? Okay. So I'm seeing that. Right now is a time for grounding. The only way to ground is to allow things to come to a pause. So if something's needed to end, allow it to end. If something's already ended, start keeping its energies alive by constantly thinking about it and constantly trying to reignite it in some sort of fashion, okay? It's gone. It needs to be gone, okay? That doesn't mean it won't come back. But what it means is right now, you need to ground yourself, okay? You need to get out in nature. You need to breathe the fresh air. You need to allow yourself to go through this transformational process. Sometimes we come so fearful of losing the things we want, we grip so tightly. We don't allow things to take shape the way they need to. Now, chances are a lot of you have been either had very controlling parents or had to fight off tradition or expectations and not being given the opportunity to do what you want. A lot of that created a lot of anxiety in you because your parents or your culture had such a tight grip on who you were meant to be. You're transmuting that. You're changing who you are. But that sort of tight grip is what you're doing to your journey, okay? I've related it that way so you can understand the negative impact of that of that um, sort of tight grip. Just think about all the things that you experienced, all the negative emotions that you've had to transmute, all the failed relationships, all the ways you didn't honor yourself. Think about all the, the, the negative side effects and byproducts of that tight grip. You don't want to do that to your journey. You're being asked to just release the hold and allow things to happen the way they need to. That's going to come from grounding. You're going to feel better about it when you ground yourself. I'm seeing meditation, breath exercises, getting out in nature as a way to just pull back. Okay? This also doesn't mean things aren't shaping up. A standstill and stillness is just asking you to stop the action you are trying to physically do to control this. Okay? The energies are still moving forward. Things are still moving along. I'm getting a headache as I say that. A year from now... Eight of Wands, Surrender, Reconsider, Page of Wands. In this time of stillness, reconsider whether you actually want what it is that you're chasing after. Is what I'm seeing. Because your actions going towards this in the past, right now, so you may be coming to a point of standstill, you may be at the standstill right now because something did end. Reconsider how your actions have helped you forward in your journey. Because I'm seeing that as much as you feel like you were taking inspired action forward, you were, it was still immature. You were still operating from that tight grip. Look how tightly gripped that person has this wand. So as much as you were taking inspired action forward, you were expecting certain results. You know? Mm -hmm. 
I'm really getting here right now. And then a year from now, an Eight of Wands is complete surrender. Like, you're not really meant to see what's happening, but I'm going to try to see anyway. <laughs> I do feel that a year from now, this entire situation that you're going through is going to be completely different. You're going to be like, what? Two of Swords. Four of Swords. King of Wands. Ooh. Two of Cups. Wow. This is related to a connection. So I'm seeing here. During this year, you might feel like you're conflicted about certain things, but still, you only feel conflicted because you're putting yourself in that energy to decide. You really don't need to decide anything. You just need to let things be. Okay? Focus on your self-care, focus on your rest, focus on your glow up. What is it? What are the things that you've been meaning to do on your personal to-do list that you can dedicate some time to right now? You know, whether it's getting healthier, whether it's starting a new business, get into that inspired energy because you are graduating from a page of wands where you're currently at to a king of wands, which means you're becoming more mature in your creative energies is what I'm seeing here and how a connection pops up. So before I look into the connection, do you want to look more into this? This. Just seeing throughout this entire time, you are healing sibling rivalry, toxic anger. So definitely family issues, grips. I'm not seeing sibling rivalry as like you. Um, sibling rivalry, I'm not saying that you're actually competing with a sister or a brother or anything of that sort, but rather I'm seeing it as that cultural situation, that family lifestyle that's really been holding you back. You've housed a lot of toxic anger. You felt very bitter and angry towards your circumstances. You need to allow yourself time to heal that because if you don't allow that, how is your transformation going to come through? Feeling conflicted, that's that two of swords energy. Afraid to blossom. Yeah. Just rest. None of this energy that you're going through and the things that you're dealing with right now is enough for you to be taking action towards anything. You'd only actually end up continuing some of these patterns, to be quite honest with you, okay? But I've just heard just a few seconds ago that somebody's coming out of this one year period. That a year, last year, April, things are completely different than what you had imagined they were going to be. So there's a group of you who are just about embodying this one year period of transformation right now. You know who you are. During this period, you're going to be transmuting a lot of the family pressures and expectations you felt to be a certain way. You're going to be dealing with a lot of the, the anger and the negative emotions that you've housed within yourself that have kept you from truly blossoming. And you might feel conflicted, but those conflicts are meant to happen so that it can call attention to more of the things that need to be healed. You are graduating. You're going to ground yourself. You're going to surrender and you're going to graduate from a page of wands to a king of wands. Now, there's a lot of you who have undergone this period, who are now bringing in your transformation because you've come into this king of wands energy. And even though you're still here, you're being asked to still not decide and move forward and take power and liberty in that space of non-action. Also, non-action is a form of action. So there's that. Now, I see two transformation cards here, transformation and death, which does clarify the two of cups for me, seeing that there are two people in a connection going through this right now. So I'm going to grab this, you know me, and these love messages. Okay, the seven of wands, the seven of so um, cups keeps falling out. So we'll see. just embarking on this one-year journey let's see what this 
transformations looking like for you and this person. Even though there's this whole personal transformation at play. So for those of you who are starting this journey, Nine of Cups, Chariot, King of Wands, again, it could be a same-sex relationship too, is what I'm getting here, okay? One, and two, this year, allow this year, I'm seeing year, you know, I don't like to talk about timing, I feel comfortable saying one year because that is a nice transformational period and I don't feel like many people are going to get attached to outcomes, you're probably a little triggered, that's okay, but... I'm seeing that you are on the journey of figuring out what you want in life. You know, I think you felt like you wanted this connection, but the way it was being given to you or the way it showed up in your life, you were chasing so much after that the universe just had to put a pause and a standstill at that connection in order to allow a transformation to take place between yourself and the person you were dealing with because things just couldn't continue in that manner is what I'm hearing. Things just couldn't continue that way, okay? Now, you may feel like you're actually no longer moving towards that connection in this period of transformation but you are moving forward and you're moving forward victoriously to um, being a better version of yourself what can we expect in this connection over the year nine of swords so stress and anxiety closing out cycles related to that stress and anxiety and letting go of the past um page of pentacles and look, King of Pentacles. You know, the King's coming out here. You are the way. The person you're dealing with is starting to understand that you play a role in their journey and that they need to welcome that. They're afraid of welcoming that for these reasons. Okay? Now, with the same sex, with two Kings here twice, we've got the two King of Wands and the two King of Pentacles here. I'm seeing that we could be dealing with the same sex relationship or two strong, strong masculine energies. With the same sex relationship... This could be somebody who's resisting this part of their sexuality. A lot of family pressure and cultural pressure has come through in this reading here. Okay? Which is why somebody's constantly confusing themselves or exploring multiple different partners when there's already a connection here that they're, they're not acknowledging. Okay? I'm also feeling that the individual journey is allowing you to consider all the different options in your life so that you can fully understand what it is that you want. You think you know what you want, but you don't. Sometimes you gotta know what you don't want. And here, in this connection, I'm seeing that the past is being let go of. Cycles are coming to a close. You could be picking up on a lot of anxiety from your person, or you could be going through sleepless nights yourself. But it's all bringing you to a new way to move away from some of the heavier energies. You need to go through this. Okay? Now, let's see, for those... We're just coming out of this energy. The King of Pentacles. I'm still seeing it. You guys, I'm going to keep this. You guys could be dealing with same-sex issues or two masculine energies here that's come across quite strongly. I feel that speaks to anyone identifying with this. But for those of you coming out of this year, now embracing your transformation and moving forward, what does this connection look like now? Ace of Pentacles, High Priestess, Hermit, Chariot. Ah, Chariot comes back here again. And then we have Lovers. I like this energy. You're still coming out of that incubation phase, this idea of the standstill, this personal reflection. You are still coming out of it. I'm seeing you need to be mindful and listen to your intuition about how to proceed further now that you've gone through a year of deep learnings and deep transformation i come back to that point where i made if your calendar is a little empty right now don't go ahead and overbook yourself okay there's this idea that you're getting a little too trigger happy and a little too excited and moving faster than you need to you're still slowly coming out of this phase of your internal reflection what have you learned what have you noticed about yourself embrace the connection slowly okay you could be picking up on your person's energies i'm seeing that intuitively you kind of understand 
that you're coming to this point <clears throat> where something is going to ground in some capacity. And you're moving forward in making decisions. This could also be your person's energy too. I feel like this is your energy. This is your person's energy. What do we need to know about your person? They're on a quest of finding balance. And they divinely understand that you are part of that. Divine justice. Hangman. Empress. Oh my god. <gasps> Emperor. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, this person realizes you are the one. Look, Eight of Pentacles. They are working hard at it. This person realizes you're the one. This is huge. So for those of you who have gone through this one-year transformation, your person is moving forward. They're behind you on this journey. But you're coming out of this journey, getting ready to start creating a new life for yourself. And just as you are coming out with all these understandings of your past and all the learnings that you've embraced, your person is now moving forward to making decisions about their life. So they're, they are entering this one-year phase while you've come out of it, is what I'm seeing here. Okay? So understand that your person still has all of this to go through. Okay, but for you that's coming out of this one year phase, you're going to start seeing this and understanding. Like, for those of you going through this one year phase, you're not going to see and understand with this. There's a lot of heaviness that needs to be transmuted. But for those coming out of it, you're going to see and understand a new way forward for yourself. And then you'll start seeing physical results with your person. You'll start understanding that something is happening on that end, in communication or not. Okay, this came out. I'm thinking that there will be some level of communication and 3D understanding which is exciting. <clears throat> I'm also seeing meeting 5-5. Five, five. On my computer, I'm seeing two notifications of a meeting and both five minutes overdue. So I'm seeing 5-5 five, five as a number of change and there's definitely a meeting, some sort of communication happening here. Your person, what choices are they making? Coming toward you. I'm also feeling that because they do have somewhat of an energy to go through right now, this is not going to be an immediate action towards you. They are under coming into balance and understanding how they have kept healthy relationships away from them. How they have kept healthy relationships at a standstill and a pause. How they haven't contributed to the healthy relationships in the past. And now they're going through this understanding in their phase where they're coming into a lot of enlightenment that's bringing balance to them. But then your person, as I said, understands that divinely guided, you are the one. The universe was both nourishing you with this connection to understand yourself. And now you can come together as a divine pair. Oh, gorgeous. I'm going to end it here because... I feel like I've, I've given what I need to in this reading. I don't feel the message to keep pushing on for more. So I hope this resonates. Please like, subscribe, comment. And I hope this reading resonates. Thank you.